We are children of the same God. Republicans, religious leaders, and LGBTQ advocates are joining arms in unity. This legislation is an example of how Americans should be doing politics. Introducing new legislation they say will protect civil rights of LGBTQ Americans without impeding religious freedom. Neither side has to lose in order for the other side to win. Utah Republican Chris Stewart says his bill strikes a much needed compromise and is a more realistic solution than this year's Equality Act. Bill is passed. Back in May, that plan to expand civil rights protections for LGBTQ Americans passed the House. But it's been dead in the Senate ever since. Tim Schultz with the First Amendment Partnership says the Fairness for All Act does the same thing but gives religious institutions exemptions. We think these lines are, are uh, sort of morally and politically uh, sensible. But the bill is already facing some backlash. A coalition of civil rights groups, including the NAACP and the country's largest gay advocacy group, says the bill still treats LGBTQ Americans like second-class citizens. It's a little disheartening. I think that the statement exaggerates. Tyler Deaton with the American Unity Fund, the sole gay advocacy group at the Friday press conference, says the bill gives LGBTQ Americans a more likely path to federal protections. We should no longer leave this to the courts alone. Right now, the bill only has Republican support, but Stewart says he's confident he can sway some Democrats. In Washington, Raquel Martin.